my name is Dr. Saurabh Kamal. I am an eye plastic surgeon, also called ophthalmic plastic surgeon. So this video is regarding the eyelid bags, which occur in the upper and the lower eyelid, which is an age-related change. And what is the treatment available for the eyelid bags, which is called blepharoplasty? So some of the patients they develop puffy eyes on the eyelid bags. So what is the puffy eye or eyelid bag? These are caused by age-related changes or occur in younger patients because of the familial or genetic background. It is basically excess loose skin and fat bulge around the eye. So in this photograph, you see an old patient with puffy upper and lower lid with skin pudding. To make you understand better, there are fat pads which are the pocket of fats which are normally there in all of us and makes the eye look puffy. The skin starts losing its texture, becomes wrinkled and loose and therefore start hanging as in this case. Also in lower eyelid we have three pockets of fat and their bulge causes a lower lid puffy eyelid. One more thing which occurs with the age is the direction of these fluid pockets also understand is your brow position. Brow a normal or slightly overacting. This is another older patient. She has upper lid puffy eyes with yellow spots called xanthalasma which are present over both the upper and the lower eyelid and she also has fat bulge in the upper eye. So this is a photograph of not that older patient but you can see the fat prolapse which has occurred in the upper and the lower eyelid. This is a photograph of a younger patient which has a puffy upper eyelids with yellow spot that is the xanthalasma. In this patient you can see that the lateral brow is drooping. This is a case of a younger patient with the puffy upper eyelid. You can see the bulge and this patient was concerned with the bulge. Also the lower lip fat prolapse can be seen in younger patient and because of the shadow effects that it creates it often gives the appearance as if you are having a dark circle. So what are the treatment options available for fat bags? These can be non-surgical or surgical. Non-surgical basically means hiding these fat bags with the use of a fillers which last for about 12 to 18 months. And surgical option is a blepharoplasty where the fat bags are removed permanently. Depending upon your case, your surgeon may choose the option of surgical that is a blepharoplasty or non-surgical that is filler or combination of both. Certain patients are benefited with blepharoplasty and certain patients are benefited with fillers and you can discuss your possibility with your treating surgeon. Does the blepharoplasty procedure involves the skin cut? So no skin cut is given for the younger patients and in the lower lid because it is performed from the back of the eyelid. If performed in the older patient with loose skin and for the upper eyelid it is performed through the front of the eyelid. So the next question is, is blepharoplasty done by laser procedure? It is performed to the 4 MHz advanced monopolar radio frequency technology which decreases the post operative pain swelling and enhances the recovery so next we'll come on to some of the cases of operated blepharoplasty this patient had both eyes upper and lower eyelid fat bulge and he underwent both eyes upper and lower lid blepharoplasty you can see the cosmetic improvement and the absence of fat bulge after the treatment this lady has loose spots called xanthalasma along with upper eyelid loose skin for which she underwent upper eyelid nephroplasty. She also has multiple yellow spots in both the lower eyelids for which a direct excision was done. Notice the marked improvement in her appearance after the surgery. This young patient was bothered about the fat bulge in the upper eyelid and he underwent both upper eyelid nephroplasty. We can see the cosmetic improvement in straight and the up case. These are the before and after photograph of a patient who underwent lower eyelid blepharoplasty. We can see that the fat bulb was giving her appearance of having a dark circle. This is again a patient of lower eyelid blepharoplasty before and after photograph fat bulb disappearing after a successful lower eyelid blepharoplasty that was performed without any skin cut. So what is the recovery like after blepharoplasty? Usually some amount of eyelid swelling and bruising will be there for about 1-2 to two weeks. If you have any social function coming then better get your eyelid surgery at least 4-6 to six weeks prior to the function. You can see this case uh, how the bruising appears after the upper eyelid blepharoplasty and even some of the bruising can occur in lower eyelids. This is because the bruising can come down because of the gravity effect. In this case some amount of swelling at the one week and at the four weeks all the swelling is gone. So as it is a cosmetic procedure 
some of you may be asking that does the blepharoplasty leave a scar? It's done through the lid crease or if it is absent at the preferred side of the lid crease. So the scar is barely visible and is hidden in the crease and the lid fold. As in this patient after the upper eyelid blepharoplasty, incision lies in the lid crease. Also in this patient after upper eyelid blepharoplasty, an incision mark which appears slightly pinkish it tends to lighten up after few months. So are there any side effects of the surgery? These are there but you should discuss the possibility with your surgeon in your case. So I hope that this video has helped you to understand about the puffy eyes that is the eyelid fat bags which appear in the upper and the lower eye. Also that the treatment is available. Treatment is usually is in the form of surgery that is the blepharoplasty but in some cases fillers or non-surgical option can work also. Usually after blepharoplasty the cosmetic improvement starts coming after 2-4 to four weeks once the healing has occurred and if you are undergoing a blepharoplasty you should not be bothered about the scar because this usually get hidden in cases of upper eyelid and also in cases of lower eyelid. Thank you for watching this video.